Marshall for Lessons.io. Today let's take a look at the song Stand By Me, done many years ago, of course, in the 50s and 60s, and uh, more recently in the 80s, uh, in the Urban Cowboy. Very nice song, and very distinctive sounding, as you just heard. The sound of the chords tells you right away what the song is, right? Let's look at how to play that song. It's quite easy. It's got just a few chords, and these are the chords. We'll play it in the key of C, and then A minor, and then F, and then G. You notice I'm using bar chords here. If we were to play it in the first position, play the same thing, it would be, of course, the same chords. It would be C, A minor, F, and G. But I think you'll agree it sounds better with the bar chords because the bar chord has got something like a nice muted sound to it. Where first position chord probably doesn't sound as good. So it's a different kind of a, of a chord. And here's where bar chords make a song sound a lot better. So what we're going to do is use the bar chords, as you just heard me do, and what we'll do is uh, concentrate on how to play the chords, okay? You don't want to just strum it. Because that doesn't sound like the song. So you want to... We'll slow that down for you. You're going to hit the bass note. And notice that this is a very sharp sounding, very quick. And what I'm doing with my left hand is I'm letting off the strings so that we don't want to hear that ring. We want to hear. So on the left hand, we're applying pressure on the chord so that we make the C chord or the A minor or the G, uh, F or the G. But I'm going to truncate the ring like that by taking the pressure off my fingers. They stay in the same position, so it's still a C chord. But instead of letting it ring, I want it to stop. See, like that, just by taking my hand off the strings. Just take the pressure off. And we're going to hit the bass note so that we have a starting point. G, which is right here, part of the chord, or you can hit the C, which is right here. That's the C chord. But the G can be played also because a G is part of a C chord anyway. That's happy for us, right? And notice on the right hand, I'm hitting one bass note and the chord, and then I'm hitting two bass notes and the chord again. Of course, that's very uh, straightforward, but you'll probably want to mix it in and massage it a little bit so you get a nice sound out of it. Then we go to the next chord, which is an A minor chord. F, G, and back to the C. And once you go through that sequence of chords, then you're going to go to the next part of the song. You're on C anyway. But then we're going to hit the G chord, and then go back to the C chord to sing the next part of the song. So to orient us a little bit better, let's, let's go through the song uh, simply and slowly. i 
land is dark and the moon is the only light we'll see. Okay, and then you go through the same sequence again with the next grouping of words. But after we get through with that, then only like my won't be afraid. Oh, I won't be shed a tear. Just as long as you stand, stand by me. Now we go. And darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, won't you stand by me? Oh, darling, stand. Won't you stand, stand by me? Now you notice between those two segments of the song, we did a turnaround chord. It's a G chord. A G chord is called the five chord when you're in the key of C. So we hit that G chord and that sets us up for the chorus, which is stand by me. Okay. When we go through that, we finish that, we come back on the C. That's where we finish on that sequence. We're going to go into the next verse of the song. So just stay right on that C chord, okay? So we'll we'll pick it up somewhere in the in the chorus of it. sequence of the uh, song. Okay, and that's all there is to it. One final thing we'll talk about here is the fact that you are playing the bass notes, you see? The bass notes of the chords. C, and then the A, and then the F, and the G. C, A, F, and G. It always sounds very nice in a song when you're playing the bass note on the bottom, which means the low note on the guitar, of each chord sort of orients you to the sound and the progression of the chords. There's other times when you don't do that, so it's not a hard and fast rule, but it sounds good, especially in the rock and roll songs of the old days. So right now, practice those four chords and the particular strumming pattern, and you'll have a great time playing Stand By Me. Bye for now.